Hey, I'm Tristan, and if you're watching this for the first time, I am building this cabin behind my house to rent on Airbnb, and I'm showing you every step of the way. Today, you will see me install some wall sheathing, attempt to not hurt myself with a router, and cut off my compressor hose by mistake, so definitely stick around for the episode. So today, we're gonna work on the sheathing, and you know how important it is to be able to overlap the sheathing, uh, both at the bottom, and I also wanna do it on the side. So make sure to pay attention, because this is gonna be a little bit different than what we've done so far. So here's what I decided. Uh, um, I'm gonna start the sheathing at two feet so then I will be able to overlap a piece the bottom two feet and over my rim joist or rim bolt. So I'm just gonna go in the, yeah, just mark this up at two feet. Fourteen, three, sixteen. 16. Thankfully I have a bunch of wood left so that's perfect for that. Ooh, nice fit. Good, good, good. Ah, pretty solid. Let's see, maybe I can shoot one here. And now you get the idea, you just keep doing the same thing for a while. It wasn't too bad after all. Nice line of uh, blocking, very straightforward. Now I have to kind of decide how this is all gonna play out. So I think I'm gonna start putting, moving some like, you know, full pieces of sheathing and kind of see what it looks like. Uh, definitely not as prepared as for the previous walls, but that's all right. Ah, so here's where my sheathing is. Below all this, below all this stuff I don't need. that work. Ah, this brace is in the way. Of course it is in the way. So I'm trying to find out where's the best place to break it off. You know what? Let's add another one. Ah! So sheathing this wall is going to be quite uh, a nightmare because I feel like I'm going to end up cutting a lot of things and I'm worried that I'm going to end up wasting a lot of sheathing. And unless you didn't know, sheathing is quite expensive right now. So I think to make my life easier, I'm going to do another line of blocking at six foot. Um, so. Okay, time to start laying that stuff down. So as a reminder, we're switched back to two and a half inch nails. So if you recall previous videos, uh, you know, we have a spacing to, uh, to follow. Uh, four inches at the edges and 12 inches in the center. And you might tell yourself by looking at this, bro, you forgot to cut the opening away. Well, I don't know if I got smarter or lazier, but now I'm gonna use a different technique to uh, cut off the opening after the sheathing has been you know, installed and secured in place. You did see that I had a router now, and you probably saw other people using it for that. So you just have to get one of those, what is it called? It's like a trimming. It's a trimming blade and it has a little round at the end, which means that it's gonna be touching the wood and cutting everything out. So that's what I'm gonna be using to cut my openings. First time using this blade. Doo -doo -doo. Ooh, looks dangerous. Well, this is actually not big enough. Woo! <laughs> 
Okay. Okay, I know. It needs to be... <laughs> I need to lower this. Oh, like this. Yeah, because the blade needs to be... There you go. That will work better. Okay. This is... Not as easy as I thought it would be. <laughs> okay. Um, second try. Okay, this is much, much better. I think I got it. Whew, got scared for a minute. Yeah, that's pretty good. Look at this. Nice, isn't it? So, same thing with the next one. Remember, got to use some spacers in between. And again, I'm using, I'm using some uh, two and a half inch nails because they're one eighth in width. And then start shooting nails. Bam. So you can see here we have a little bit of a, you know, maybe an eight sticking out. So again, this, uh, I'm gonna use this guy. Oh la la. I mean, this looks so good. So you can see that I'm all done with the sheathing as, as far as what I wanted to do. Um, at first I was going to leave the top part untouched, but the more I thought about it, I think I really need to install some right now uh, because otherwise once the wall is lifted, it's going to be absolutely insane trying to get that sheathing up there, uh, you know, from like a, from a ladder. When this wall is raised and that there is a ridge beam in place, there will be two by, so this is a two by 10, but it will be two by 12 rafters. And the first one will go right over here at the front. And so my idea is that I want my sheathing to cover all the way to this line here. So I decided that um, it would start from here, wherever I stop my sheathing. And then I'm gonna start with the first piece, which will go all the way to this second stud. Here. So that's when we have to think a little bit. We're gonna need this, and then we're gonna need whatever diagonal of a two by 12 is, which is, I calculated it, 12.6 inches. And that's why I know this is gonna be smaller than like four feet. Uh, so I'm gonna leave this full height, and then I'll just cut the edge uh, following that. So let's find out what will be my uh, smallest measurement. So on this side, I uh, will be here. So what, like 10 and a half plus 12 and a half. So 11. 12, so I'm gonna cut it to two feet. So I'm gonna go to fall to two, 24 inches here. Uh -huh. Put a few nail for spacing purposes. Okay, let's see that everything's good. Do a quick mark with this so that I know where where the edge is so I can nail the edge if this thing will hold itself. Come on, hold, hold, hold. 
Oh, that's nice. You can see I did the same thing on this side. And now I'm gonna place one in the middle. I'm following exactly the same logic as before. I'm trying to determine what's gonna be the highest point. Uh, so we have 57 here and you pretty much can add 14, which is the depth of the ridge beam. So I think if we go all the way to six feet, we're good. So six feet is really how high I'm gonna take it. And then I just have to, uh, you know, place that mount exactly in the middle. So at two foot, and then I'm just gonna draw two diagonals going from that point. And uh, we'll have uh, five feet on the sides. See if I can do that little fit trick again. Oh yeah. <sighs> so I also have to cut a slot here at the top where my ridge beam will be. So that's 14, three and a half. Ah, you hear this? I just cut it. Yeah, I just cut my, <laughs> I just cut my compressor. Ah, uh, man, that's what happens when you work too fast. So here it is. I just literally nicked it with the circular saw. So I don't know. I don't know if I have to buy another one or if I can repair it somehow, but I'm gonna have to find a solution because otherwise I can't nail anymore. And I was really trying to like get everything ready for tomorrow to lift the wall in time. So to my surprise, they actually made a repair kit for those uh, compressor hose, which I just found at Lowe's. So I'm pretty pumped because this is only $4 and this may be enough to fix my problem. So let's find out. Okay, so that's where I nicked it. So I guess uh, no coming back. Oh, and then, oh man, this is gonna be tough. Is there a trick? How do you get this in? Difficult to like get this in. Okay, is there instruction? I bet not. Oh, well, no, they just say, uh, just, uh, yeah, just put it in like it's easy. Ugh. And of course, I forgot to put those rings. So I actually need to put the rings first. Otherwise, you'll be screwed. So let's try again. So you can see I got one side in, so it's possible. You really just have to go crazy at it. Oh, that's impossible. All right, I'm giving up. So here's what it looks like. I wish I could have gotten in all the way, but there's no way. So let's see if this works. So I'm about to just hook it up to the compressor. So you're about to find out firsthand with that close up if uh, it's gonna leak or not. Okay. Uh -huh. I don't hear anything. Hey, seems like it's tight enough. Mission accomplished. Woohoo! Huh. So, last step is to put this in place and nail it. In the next episode, I will attempt to raise this front wall, which is much bigger than the previous ones I raised, so click here on the link which will take you to that episode once it is available.